Hello again and welcome to another video. Now at the moment, and this is a month ago, I am completely lost. I've been hitting pulls, and coming down too steeply on the ball and popping it up. All a bit of a pickle. So today, without having any idea how to fix my problems, I'm simply going to try and hit fades. I'm deliberately going to hit a bad shot almost. Aim down the left, leave the face open, see if I can get round the golf club any better than I have been doing. I just got to get rid of this coming down steeply into the ball and hitting pulls. Start with a par, that's okay. But this shows you exactly what I mean about coming down steeply into the ball, hitting it off the top edge and popping it up. I've left myself 178. That's a long way on this hole. And even though this is squirted out to the right, I'm quite happy with that. I actually hit the back of the ball. Although the chances of the par are rather slim. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A proper fade at last. Well, welcome to the video. So, I'm trying to get my fade back. Not perfectly, but you know, I'd rather see the ball go right than left. Just let a two ball through. Um, they're moving quite quickly and I'm thinking about my swing mechanics over every shot, so I always consider myself the least important person on the golf course when I'm filming, you know? Always let them through. Right, tonight I am trying out a Canon M50. Yeah, I got a second-hand camera from the camera exchange. I don't know what this lens is doing. Uh, my Rode microphone I bought for the phone just plugs straight in and works straight away. Isn't that wonderful? Which also means I can get a Rode wireless mic, which will uh, allow you to hear me muttering shit after every bad shot and every bad putt. That would be fun, won't it? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'll wait here because they're only about 75 yards in front of me now and I'm, I don't want to pressure them while they're putting out. So this is uh, about getting my fade back. thing with Lilybrook is there's so many shots that require a draw so I've been trying to do that and it's kind of like mucked me up so I want to get back to playing the fade the more reliable shot for me anyway let's wander down there
with the way I've been playing, it's quite satisfying to get a regulation par. Although today, my putting is a little out of sorts as well. Well, that's another fade. It's not going to be in the right place. It's going to be a bit horrid. But I'm grateful that I've moved the ball to the right. And I'm doing exactly the same thing here. With the new microphone, you can actually hear the clonk as it hit the tree. This is another shot I've got to fix. The back swing's too long. The swing is too slow. And it goes long and it goes left because the face shuts. The club head overtakes the hands and shuts the face. So that's another I gotta fix. But at least I can chip still. And it is stroke one, so a bogey is okay. I just don't like the way I've made the bogey. And there's a lot of anti left in that swing. Well, after that badly struck iron on the previous hole, this one is quite enjoyable. I just wish I knew what I did well to hit a straight one. Right down the banner, a little bit short. I don't know the difference between that bad swing and the good swing, and I should. Always happy for a par on number seven. Going to be a lot of anti left in this swing as well. Yeah, I came out of that far too early and it's up the right. I finished just over the ridge, just on the downslope. So I'm going with the three wood. I'm going to see if I can power it underneath the tree. And all I've done is hit the next mound in front of me. But it's scuttled down really well. Six iron from one five three. This should be loads. And it is weak. It is short. There's a lot of weak irons in this. I'm not doing very much well at all. All I'm trying to do really is to hockey this round the golf course as low as I possibly can playing my bad golf. And as I say, there's something wrong with my setup with the putting as well. So, even easy tap ins end in bogeys.
Now that's what you call a parfait. Right, four over for the front, so I've got one shot left for the back nine. And that's a low scuttler. That's another of the bad shots. 116, nine iron, uphill, granted, this should be plenty of club. And that's another weak one. That isn't getting anywhere near the middle of the green. It's quite demoralizing actually when you start striking the ball like this it it does wear you down when you're not even getting close to hitting your irons at the correct distance yeah it's not pretty but that's why we have lessons we have lessons we practice what we're taught and we fix these problems. Another weak one. I even checked the club to make sure I've pulled an eight iron and not me nine iron by mistake. I don't honestly know why I'm doing this at this point. I do know now. And I've managed to fix it. But at the time, I really hadn't got a clue. Didn't have much of a clue with the putter either. <laughs> oh yeah
You may not want to watch this one. Yep, that's that hard pull. That's the shot I've been trying to get rid of. It's been killing my game. Absolutely killing me. That poor old man bending down to pick up the tea. Perhaps that's part of the problem too. Now I'm actually happy with this one. This is as good as I could have done. To get it well out of the right and hit a draw. But that's another weak one. And I know it's short. Come on, pick your chin up off the floor. I suppose bogey isn't too bad on 15. Right then, you've got to laugh at the putting tonight, haven't you? Still, I say I'm not worried about that. That's, that's just a one-off, that's just tonight. We'll forget about it and move on. Now the camera, the Canon M50. Now it's harder to use because the screen on the back is smaller. So I can't tell whether I've got the golf ball in or me in or anything. We'll find out when I do the editing. It also goes blank a lot quicker. So I kind of like, as I'm trying to set it up to get the, the hole in, the ball in, and the space that I'm going to occupy, it goes blank. So I'll have to see if I can fiddle in the settings. Now it's second hand, and when the guy in the shop opened the box, there was four batteries in. Now, I can't see a battery light indicator on this to tell me how drained this battery is. But we've got to the 17th okay. Um, I don't know what the guy was doing with four batteries, maybe he was trying to film Ben-Hur. Anyway, only one bad pull on the 15th, and I think that's just, that was just tiredness creeping in there. That was, a, that was a horrible swing. So, two holes to go. I'll say cheerio here. I don't think I've got anything more to say. I think this camera will come into its own once um, we require sound, when there's several of us on a green, and it'll be, it'll be much better, I hope. If not, I've spent a lot of money for nothing. Bye for now. Funny how a birdie can lift your spirits quite a bit. This is as good a hybrid as I've ever hit down this hole. Heart of the green. Absolutely perfect. Where did that come from? Oh yeah. Not bad for an old man who's tired.